Hello, the practitioner here again. I'd like to point out three other spots where government intervention has actually helped in our country. Um, I know that you guys are constantly working to try to get government minimize, uh, you know, for especially for critical thinking and true patriotism. Guys, you guys are trying to prevent. You guys are trying to get minimal government control in uh, what happens in the in the system. I agree, minimal government control as long as the government is, you know, to prevent the government from being totalitarian. That being said, however, I do think that we should at least allow uh, we just should at least allow enough interference by the government to make sure that people that there's enough of a level playing field to start off with that people can then have a free marketplace of ideas. It's not a socialism system. It's just more so an example of we are providing these basic rights. If we're providing liberty and if we're providing liberty and freedom to people, we need to be able to provide them enough freedom so this way people will not, not be able to um, you know will not be able to um, it's like it's no different than preventing people from th from stealing or from physically assaulting you or harming you. We're doing the exact same thing in our country. Um, we uh, the U.S. has antitrust laws to uh, prevent monopolies, and that's a good thing. We uh, we we look for that perfectly in Canada. We also have government-funded education, government-funded health care, and granted, I agree. Uh, under the current system, we have a few problems. Um, under Canada, we don't have an ask what we uh, what you can do for your country. We have an ask what you can do for your country and ask what your country can do for you in exchange. It's not just a it's not just a one way or the other. It's a fair trade. We believe in we believe in uh, you know we believe in economic place. We believe in free market of ideas, but we also believe that the um, you know in terms of our. Uh, we provide free health care. We provide free education. We provide a whole bunch of free services um, to the uh, to the average person. We provide um, a, a considerably, uh, you know, a welfare system that's even a bit better in some cases in the U.S. Um, and the reason that we provide these sort of things is um, now, granted, there's a lot more we could do. It's still a bare pass. Europe has a uh, has systems of this ten times better than ours, and our education system could uh, you know could do with a severe boost up. I mean, you know, the only reason that we're a bit better than you guys is because of the fact that, uh, you know, and the only reason that we consider these systems good is because of the fact that if, uh, you know, providing free education and Medicare and the like to, um, you know, to citizens means that they have, um, you know, providing by not for enough basic necessities for the, uh, for everybody means, and we also provide a lot um, more stringent cases to what uh, you can do to, uh, to hire or fire someone. If they have a disability, you can't fire them purely on the basis of a disability. I mean, the Americans with Disabilities Act already has that, but we have that enshrined in our Charter of Rights and Freedoms under uh, the various things that are prevent, uh, protected for minorities. Our Human Rights Act, we yes, we have a Human Rights Act as a subset of our Charter of Rights and Freedoms. You know, not just freedom of speech and the like. We have that enshrined in our Charter. We prevent discrimination against people, so this way, uh, you know, so that this way we, you know, so that this way people have an even-handed chance at being able to work in the workplace. People should be able. You know, um, you know, and not just that, but based on race, discrimination, sex, and all that. You guys have it in law. We have it enshrined in our Constitution, unlike you guys who don't even have it in the Bill of Rights. The reason that we have it enshrined in our Constitution is because we recognize from the get-go. I mean, okay, two, sorry, I hate to say this, but, you know, for, for the U.S., you guys have had a track record. Okay, we, yes, we have had a similar track record of oppression and the like, but when we actually became an independent country, we recognized from the get-go our bad history of this, you know, under Britain's rule. Uh, you know, we recognize, you know, our, our, our nation's history of this, and we recognize from the get-go that these sort of problems would happen. You guys had to get these things in, like the Americans with Disabilities Act and the like, um, you, know, be, uh, you know, fighting years' worth of oppression. In Canada, we still have to fight oppression on a whole bunch of parts, because despite the fact that our, our, our charter enshrines all this stuff, um, you know, a lot of people flout the charter uh, trying to develop laws, so we end up having to either put new laws in place to, count, you know, to further reinforce the charter or to get the Supreme Court to, uh, you know, to ratify the charter. Um, so, yes, you know, our system does, you know, but the point is that we have it enshrined in the charter. We have our, you know, we have rights for every minority, um, you know, enshrined in the charter. And the reason that we do this is because of the fact that we recognize that every person should not have to be discriminated based on color, based on creed, based on religion, based on what have you. That should not have any indication as to how effectively one can do or one is qualified for the job one is applying for or the amount of education one gets or stuff like that. There's a little bit of history in one particular case where, um, you know, and, and this is where we're talking about the, about the freedom of speech in Canada, uh, you know, being, you know, um, you know, your right to freedom of speech and, you know, infringing on other people's freedom of speech. Um, we had a case 
where um, where somebody actually tried, yes, and I'm talking about this, somebody actively tried to get a Jewish ceremony actually banned out of, a univer out of the University of Toronto. They actively tried to do that. And um, ironic, uh, you know, it's actually another funny piece. There was a professor of, of psychology who was at the University of Toronto. He was, received, he was researching parapsychology. He was a psi proponent. And, you know, I disagree with his conclusions of his research, but that's, you know, it's a, 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 that's a debate point. They tried to get this guy fired because of the fact that he published a book on parapsychology that was a psi proponent. The University of Toronto, which was a which was a half publicly funded university, as are most universities in Canada. University of McGill is the one exception to this. They are 90% funded uh, privately. Um, you know, um, they're only 10% public fu publicly funded. Uh, state univer uh, you know, um, public universities are, are cover for, account for roughly 90 to 95% of education in Canada. Um, this is a publicly funded university, and they tried to drum him out. They actually tried to fire him on the grounds of having done this. The Internal Human Rights, uh, the Internal Human Rights Board, uh, uh, determined that this uh, this was actually an infringement on his freedom of speech, and determined that it was a human rights violation to attempt to fire him on this. They still got rid of the professor, saying that there was no more uh, money available to uh, fund his research, so he left of his own volition after that. You know, they, they managed to find a technical way around it. It was still indirectly discrimination, but they couldn't really, but they couldn't really, you know. You can't really, unfortunately, by the letter of the law, um, it's you know it's still within the human rights within it's still within the human rights um, uh, appropriateness. Um, there have been other cases in uh, in various universities um, where uh, universities have actually tried to uh, discriminate against uh, students with disabilities uh, by preventing them um, where the the heads of universities, despite what the university. Um, uh, disability offices have said, or have said are required. Uh, university of Victoria, where I live, is a prime example of this. A publicly funded university has tried to flout the charter and tried to uh, prevent uh, prevent them from getting disabled rights. There was a legal case that was fought for two years of this, and the UVic lost. And this was a case precedent. But the point is that we had it enshrined in our charter right off the right off the get go. You know, we, you know, we, um, we don't allow for, uh, you know, we don't allow for. Um, for lobby groups to prevent uh, to prevent groups from speaking based on religions or the like, um, you know, at, at any particular area, every group is free to speak as they so choose, you know, at, in public institution areas like universities. You have to go through a board, of course. To uh, the only exception to this is hate crime, and this is the other one. You see, discrimination and called hate crime is where you are trying to actively be racist and the like. And the reason that we prevent this is because of the fact that we try to prevent people from trying. Remember, um, uh, remember, of course, we talked about fatherland. Remember, Hitler was a bad motherfucker. Remember what he also did, though. He whipped people up into a frenzy to the point where a large chunk, um, Kristallnacht, Kristallnacht was a was a uh, prominent example of what happens when hate speech wh whips up a crowd. We dissuade any sort of racial or hate speech largely to prevent that sort of manipulation of the public. Now, granted, I think that that could be dwindled away with and could be better uh, dealt with by uh, putting more critical thinking classes in high schools, so this way people will recognize that sort of propaganda when they see it. But, you know, it's, it's an attempt. We're trying to deal with that as opposed to the U.S. system, which doesn't necessarily deal with that uh, in its own curriculum. Anyway, these are just a few areas where I figure that the uh, U.S. and Canada are a bit better than the, where Canada is a bit better than the U.S. We take time to slow down and think things more rationally. And um, the only reason that my emotionality is, is in this a bit, I get excited what I'm talking about. This is the Asperger's. So, you know, I hate to say it, but, you know, you want to respect diversity, respect, you know, respect me for who I am. That's the other thing that we pride ourselves on in Canada. We pride ourselves on not just, we, we provide ourselves on, uh, not just on Canadians first or what have you, we pride ourselves on the fact that not only are we Canadian, but that we have such a diverse culture, and that we have such a free marketplace of ideas that people converse these ideas. We thrive on this. You know, that's the reason that we, um, you know, we 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 don't just talk about like, oh, we're just all Americans uh, first and foremost. We talk about about ethnic diversity, cultural diversity, background diversity, idea diversity, and Canadianship as equality, as equal, hand in hand. We assume diversity to be a large part of being Canadian owing to the fact of a marketplace of ideas, of rational discussion, of, of talking of ideas, of, of, of spouting out this sort of stuff. Not only do we pride ourselves on our freedom of speech, but we pride ourselves on our, on our ability to restrain others from preventing others from, you know, uh, to prevent, uh, to, we pride ourselves on restraining ourselves from preventing, uh, you know, on restraining ourselves from trying to quash others' freedom of speech. We limit our rights insofar as that they don't infringe on other people's rights. And that's what makes us unique about it as Canadians. 
not trying to uh, take away people's rights or trying to go too far, but by allowing just enough government control. I'll continue in the next video in the conclusion.